Hello, chickadees. Today I'm going to show you how to draw an African wild dog. Oh, actually, they don't sound like that. They have all sorts of sounds, which is pretty neat. Um, and they look a lot, this one actually looks a lot like my dog, but they have these big giant ears and these really cool spotted coats. Um, and we're going to draw them today. And, oh, but before we get started, they have um, complicated social structure, just like our dogs. Isn't that neat? So get some pencils or some crayons. Um, I put a little guide over here for the colors that I used on this. You can mix it up a little. I use black, purple, orange, yellow, blue, pink, and brown. But if you want to add to this, or if you want to be a little more minimalistic, you can do that too. Uh, this drawing itself, the basic drawing, is not hard at all. And it does really depend on how far you want to take it. You ready? Okay, go get your pencils or your crayons or whatever you're going to do with So pause it. Get your stuff ready. Get your paper or plate <laughs> or whatever you're going to draw on. And, and then let's get rolling. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is you're going to be making that forehead. So I start out with a letter V. So it's like that. Draw a little darker so you guys can see. And then I'm going to go up from here. So it's almost like I'm going to draw a crayon. And you see it's not, this is straight, this is on an angle. Okay, so it's up like a crayon. And then I'm going to come over. Up and over. Actually, that's like a bracket on its side, right? Alright, you got it? I hope so. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to make a line through here. The African dog has an actual like um, black line through its face. So we're going to draw that. It's just a curvy line through here. We're actually drawing its skull. Right there at the middle of its skull. Alright, and now we're going to draw the nose. <laughs> so you're from this line, the original V, you're going to come down, 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 and then curve this way. You're forming the mouth. This is the nose, and then you're forming the mouth like that. Okay, now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to now do the form the area around the eye. So I'm here, so we have it ma these match, right? And I'm just going to come out like that. Okay. And I'm also going to start suggesting the nose. So the nose, all we're going to do in here for right now is we're going to give ourselves a little, a little U, like that, on a side. It's not regular facing U. It's sideways U. Sideways U. Okay. And we're going to give us, start the beginning of the ears. So the ears are really big. So I always think of when I first draw this, it looks like a mouse. Um, with the giant ears. So I'm going to do one this way and then I'm going to go near, 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 near. I'm going to add a little bit more here. So now this is, you're going to start to see, it feels more like a forehead. And then I'm going to go near, all the way up here. This one would be bigger because it's closer to us. So you can make, if you look at the lines like this, you see how that one is bigger, taller? You want that. Okay? So it's uneven, but it will actually look even because it's right. Okay. So we have this line, so now what we're going to do is we're going to extend this just a little smidge, like that. I'm going to start drawing the area where the neck and, um, yeah, the neck would be. <laughs> the neck and the butt, start of the body. So it's a curve this way, and we know the ear is going to be here, so I'm also going to do a curve this way. If you want, you can do this little line that I just popped in there, but you don't have to. It's up to you. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start and put in those ears. So this ear right here, this is actually um, going to have an, another piece. So you're going to go down like you're going to slide down a mountain or something and then curve. So slide down the mountain and then a little curve that way. And we're going to do this guy. I love those big ears. Who doesn't love big ears? Big ears are the best. Um, so we're going to come out this way out again so it's too like it's like an a lowercase m on its side in and then I'm gonna meet up if you want to make it bigger you can make them bigger I love big ears they're so so much fun 
Okay. We're on our way to done. Does it start to look like an African wild dog to you? It does to me at this point. Once I have this line in here, and then jumbo ears, I'm like, wild dog! But they may not be for everybody. It also depends on how much you look at them. I like to watch videos on wild animals. Um, not all of them. Some of them are a little sad. But, okay. So we have this little curve right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the inside of the nostril like that. All right, and then I'm going to double up right here. So I have two lines. I'm going to give a suggestion of a mouth, so it's just kind of like a smiley face. And then I'm going to give myself a few zigzag lines in here. They have spotted coats, they're so cool. I might throw in a few zigzag lines. It doesn't really matter where you put them. All right, <laughs> now we're going to do inside the ear. The inside the ear is going to come here, and then curve up. And then we'll do some darker tones in there, so I'm just going to make some like V's on their side. If at any point I just went way too crazy fast for you, stop, pause it, really look, or rewind and go look in what I did before. It's, um, I don't want you to be frustrated because I went too fast. I know I draw fast, <laughs> um, but it's okay. So let's, um, let's keep going. Okay, so let's finish up now. We're gonna work on that eye. If you can, at this point, I would get a new pencil, um, or just make sure your pencil is super sharp, because you don't wanna be working with some a tool that is not sharp when you get to the areas that you're really gonna care about, like the eyeball. So you have this structure, but now I gotta do the eye. So the eye is a line that goes up like this. So it's like a line on an angle. Then it comes down, swoop, so it's a curve and then meet it like the, down like that. So it's like a trapezoid, almost like you're gonna build a trapezoid and then swoop for the curvy part of it. And we're gonna swoop one more time underneath. So just a, on, just to you, under here. Is it looking dog-like to you? I hope so. All right, so now we're gonna do the, a little bit more in the eye. Um, we're gonna start making that little, just a little curve line right here. So I'm going to I'm going to just focus in on second so you guys can see that a little bit better. Okay. So I have the little curve line right here. And what I'm going to do is this area right in here, it forms like a triangle. I'm going to shade that in super duper dark. And then I'm going to break up the pupil with a highlight. So you can draw in the pupil. You could theoretically draw the whole thing, but I'm going to break it up so it kind of looks like a pokeball. <laughs> and then I'm just going to color it in dark, dark while I'm here. Why not? So you get a little highlight in there. And now I'm just going to do, because the highlight was there, I'm going to just draw a tiny little line like that. As if there's a light coming all the way through that way. Okay. Now we're going to do the nosy. <laughs> we're going to go inside the nose. It's very dark. I always caution people about that, but for the dog, it really is that dark. If you do it on people, it looks like they have boogers, but <laughs> on a dog, it's fine. And dogs don't have boogers, so they're much happier. All right, let me zoom back out again. Okay, and, and now I'm going to start the shading. Now, I do the shading first. Some people do the shading as they're working, like they work section by section. I work the whole thing with the shading. So I have a black pencil. I'm going to use that. But if you have a regular pencil, that will work too. So I'm going to start the shading. Now, um, I'm just going to walk through a little bit of this. But honestly, I'm probably going to just put this on fast forward because it's going to be pretty boring to listen to me shade. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to tell you the basics. So I'll go around the nose. I'm going to go into this mouth here. I'm going to come up this way. There's a structure here, right? I'm going to go up over really quite dark around the eye. And they have like these dark, dark eyebrows, <laughs> like I do. <laughs> uh, and then, so I'm shading this structure, all right? I'm going to give myself a line that's like a curve like this. I'm going to shade in here. Now, if you totally want to disregard what I'm saying, um, and kind of do this on your own, what I'm going to recommend is freeze it at the last frame or the first frame where I have the directions. And that will help you a lot too. Everybody wants to work in different ways. Everybody, you know, 
lot of people work with different things. I watch a lot of videos on how to do things. <laughs> so you can see where I shaded right about there. And then I'm going to get really, really dark in the ear, so I have to actually split it open. So I'm going to take from here. I'm just going to cop. I'm basically following this line. I'm going to give it a little curve like that. And then this is super dark. It's almost as dark. It's probably as dark as the eye, honestly. So I'm going to hit that pretty hard. I kind of feel that once you get in all the shading and the structure, you really, um, the color, you could put, I could put any colors on this and it will look really nice. Oh, no matter what I do, it always ends up a little bit looking like my own dog. <laughs> I wonder if that's happening to you out there too. I'm separating this line that we did before and I'm going to get very, very dark at the bottom right there. If you want, a lot of dogs, uh, wild dogs have like a little bump right there. My dog does too. I don't know what that's from. Little beauty mark. <laughs> dog beauty mark. All right, and then let's shade in the ear. Now the top of the ear, so like right over here, is going to be pretty dark because they do have a lot of black in the ear. So we can we can hit this way. Um, and I'm going to shade quite dark in here. And that's why we made those Vs because that's going to be really dark inside those Vs. And again, I'm going to clean up some lines, so I'm going to press down harder and just clean my line. And this outside line, you can make that almost, a, you can make it as dark as that if you want, because they do have these really dark, dark ears. So, and we want to make it look like this type of dog, not just any old dog, although any old dog is a pretty awesome dog. I take all the dogs. Um, and we're going to shade out here. So we're trying, and then again, like I said, you're trying to make it look like this type of dog. So this line in the forehead is really important. Also make it much darker because you want to show off like, hey, this is a wild dog. This is not um, my dog modeling for me right now. Who is not modeling for me right now? Right now, she is outside causing trouble and it's snowing, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we have the basics for the structure. So now what we can do is play around with the first. I'm going to make it darker down here. If you want to make it lighter down here, it's okay. This is all again you, but I can change my lines now. I don't have to be really, I work a lot on the side when I'm getting a lot of the shading in, but now that I'm doing fur, I can use the tip if you want. It's going to be personal preference on these guys with the fur. So I'm going to make the whole bottom part here dark, but their coats have like oranges in them, pinks in them. Our sets are really cool colors in their coats. So it's, it's pretty cool. There's some really neat things and watching them. It always, if you have a dog at home, um, if, and if you're watching like nature videos with wild dogs in them, like, like I was, <laughs> it's just, it's, um, I'm like, Oh, that's like my dog. You know, so they're just really, they're so cool. I love watching animals. So basically what I'm doing now, I call this futzing. <laughs> I'm futzing. Um, I'm trying to make it uh, feel right to me. And that's not something you can always teach because it's about, does this feel right? Did I do this right? Is it, does it looking the way I want it to be? So I'm just kind of going through and playing. Okay, so let's start to get to the color. What I do is I work the darks to the lights generally first. Not all the time. Sometimes I get bored and play. And sometimes I add crazy colors and that's fun too. So, but I'm going to start with the purple because to me that is the next darkest color. So I'm going to put that purple into the nose. I'm not going to do the whole nose purple. But I am going to do like this. I am going to leave this little highlight if you see right here. The lights and the darks work together to make it feel like it's 3D. I'm going to purple down the nose. And um, I know you're thinking, um, <laughs> purple? <laughs> what? But purple is a great tool for shading and drawing and people always dismiss um, sometimes the colors that don't feel right. Like the sky should be blue, but if you look in the sky, if I look right now, it's 
well, it's white, <laughs> gray, but you know, it changes color. So don't, a lot of people have misconceptions of what actually colors are and different things because we think we know, but we're not actually looking. So there is quite a bit of purple in a lot of things if you actually start really looking. I'm gonna throw a little purple up here. So basically the muzzle down here. And then I'm gonna throw a little purple in here too. Why not? Throw a little purple around. And just to make it so balanced, I'm gonna throw a little in here too. Okay, so the next color that I'm gonna do is brown. Um, the brown is gonna come in the ear I'm going to put quite a bit of brown in the air. The last time we went to draw, we were missing the brown, and I was laughing because I was thinking, this is what I do, and I don't have a brown pencil. <laughs> and my kids thought that was really funny, that we were missing brown. Um, but I have brown now. <laughs> and then we're going to put it in here. We'll put some brown up in here. Now I'm using the side right now. You can use the tip. I will do more like... Um, little hairs on top later, but I usually get the, the generalities in first. So I'm going to put a little brown on top of the purple. And put a little brown into the coat back here. And I'm going to put a little bit of brown on top of the purple because we're going to layer with colored pencils. Actually, wait, <laughs> wait, hold that phone. All right, so, ah, yeah, I'm going to throw a little in here too. Again, it's always about playing. It's not, there's lots of different ways to do this. All right, so let's go to the orange next. And the orange, I'm going to use on the bottom of the eye. So again, I'm going to, wah, I'm going to get much closer so you guys can see it. That's a little better. All right, so what I want to do in the eye is this. I want to take that eye, and I'm going to color... Very, I'm going to press down really hard, actually, because um, we want to make it seem like it's glassy, and then I'm going to get lighter on that side. So on this side, I'm going to add a little bit of orange on that top, like that Pokeball I was talking about before, and then you're going to go this way. Later, later, later. Now we're going to switch. Um, you can keep that orange... Actually, let's keep the orange in your hand, and you can start putting some of the other fur in. Because there is a lot of orange there for orange in there, some orange in here, a little orange up in here. And so orange in here. And definitely a bunch of orange in here. So again, for this, I might use the side of my pencil. It'd be a lot faster. I'm going a little orange crazy, but that's okay. Alright, so let's go for some pink. What? Pink? But if you look at your dog's mouth, if you have a dog, um, there's quite a bit of pink right in the muzzle. I'm going to put the pink in the muzzle. And it's going to blend in the purple. It's actually a really pretty color. Um, I'll put a little bit of pink in the ear also. A little pink up here. pink in here, a little pink here, a little pink there. And then I'm going to go to my blue. Um, blues are really great for drawing. They they do something really well with the light. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go right in here and we're going to make this area blue and this area blue. So it's just a little line and a bigger line. Make it pop out. And I'm also going to use that blue a little bit just right down here. And then right down the nose. And a little bit back here. Alright, so I'm pretty satisfied with this drawing. But I would now I would think to do the last step. And the last step is one that's really important. It's the one where we <laughs> where we take either a black pencil or a brown pencil and really start um, putting it all together. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'll leave this on mute, so also I'm not talking. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's it. I will see you next time, and remember, just keep drawing.